back to the supermarket of the stars? All they want me to do is entertain here. It's less pressure. It's freer. They said I could work topless if I wanted to. Hmm. It's a Swedish thing, I guess. Yeah, Amsterdam. Yeah. Man, Baba Ramla is going to be bummed. Maybe I should work here, though, if it's so great. You wouldn't want to do that to Mr. Baba Ramla. You know what? Last week, he made me work the freezer. It was awful. What, the cold? No, the ice cream. I just kept eating it and eating it. Ice cream makes you fat. I kind of like being the only actress. Yeah. My key is where it's at. I could do a talk show here. We could put on plays. Jesus. This is like a reverse Lucy episode. I am trying to get out of show business. Yeah, yeah. I love Lucy. Like, I'm Lucy. You're Ethel. I'm not Ethel. You're Ethel. Yeah, you're Ethel. Yeah, I can organize the workers, get more minorities and women in here, and, uh, you know, they really should have vegetarian meatballs. Hey, 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 I'm Justine Bateman. How you doing? I just started working here. Here, sit down for a second. What's your health plan? You know, are you happy? Uh, oh, man, normal what do you Ray. think? What do you think about a live internet chat show? Huh? Like I said, the movie has ended, and I'm trying to leave the theater, and I just can't. You look good in yellow. Lost my appetite for meatballs. Excuse me. Maybe you could do like a, a blog for me or something. You know what a blog is? That's cool. Welcome to Actors Anonymous. This great forum created by Ed Begley to empower actors to stop working for the man and take control of your own fate. As, as a great actor, far more talented than, than anyone in this room once stated, if you're in a movie and you're killed by a Chucky doll, he doesn't just kill you. He kills your career. You know, when Ed does the meeting, we actually get to share. I've got to get back to work soon. I never got to speak on Gomer Pyle. 154 episodes, I say, have a good time, Sergeant. Have a good time, Gomer. The rest of the episode, they're having a good time. I'm back in the barracks. Bonnie, I need you back in the barracks. Sorry. Now, some of you may not know, Ed couldn't be here today because all well, that brave soldier is doing Shakespeare for the homeless while simultaneously converting his own crap into compost. I should have been up for that. I, I'm homeless. That's true. We usually start with a warm-up. thought you wanted to share. I do want to share, but that's what Ed usually does. Uh, as many of you know, I, uh, I tried to leave show business and get a job at a local supermarket, but unbeknownst to me, it was the supermarket of the stars because so many actors already work there. Ed Bagley was the assistant manager. Justine was in charge of carts. But then, you became hip to work there. I lost my job in produce to Marty Ingalls. Well, my agent, Ben, started showing up and hounding me with these offers to do Lifetime movies. Stars don't fade away, they just go to Lifetime. I decided to turn down the bad TV movie and live my life as a bad TV movie instead. That way I'm in control. I'm the star of my own bad TV movie here at Ikea. Does that make sense? No, not at all, but your time is up. Why don't we conclude by uh, reciting our copywritten slogan? Okay. I'm, I'm an, an actor, actor and, and I'm, I'm an anonymous. anonymous. Hello, I'm Kevin Pollack. As a greeter for IKEA, you're not just saying hello. Oh no, much more than that. You're saying, hey, where are you coming in from? And how can I help you get to where you'd like to go? For example, hello, 